Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So, as you can see, we have a level up event going on, and we are going to try for Aegon another three times. Uh, we've tried already many, many times. So let's go ahead and first, before we get to those crystals, let's open up our legendary crystal. We've had some good luck from these crystals before. Gotten a five star, which is already lucky. And then we actually got new five star, which was awesome. All right, so let's see if we can get somebody really good out of this crystal. Um, I do see Doom in there. Uh, that would be the big boy prize out of this, let me tell you. If I pulled a Doom out of this legendary crystal, that would be legendary. Um, but whatever we get out of here, uh, we're going to try for Aegon. Um, if you did not see my last crystal opening, go check it out. All right, slowing down. What do we got? Somebody good? Skipping over those five stars to a four star. All right, not bad. Um, like I said, if you haven't seen my last crystal opening, you really need to go see it. It was epic, let me tell you. Um, I may have used up my luck uh, in that opening. So we, we may just get trashed uh, in this one. All right, and I don't think we have any, yeah, we don't have any Grandmaster Crystals. Uh, so we just have these three. And we're going to grab one. We're going to go out. Pet method. And go back in. Come back out. Go back in. Shake it all about. And while that is spinning out, here are the champions that I want the most. Uh, obviously, the big boy prize would be Aegon. Uh, but if I can get a five-star Omega Red or a Namor, that would be awesome as well. I have a six-star rank two Omega Red who is unawakened. Now, if I could awaken my six-star Omega, then the five-star might not see so much love. But until I can take Omega Red to rank three, a five-star rank five SIG 200 Omega Red is going to help me out so much more. And I do run suicides. But out of this crystal, the big boy prize is Aegon. All right? And let's see. What do we got? And I mean, she's a good champion. I just have her already. All right, so she's now Sig 80, and that's all natural. But that's what you're gonna get out of these crystals. Uh, most of the time, with my uh, roster, we are gonna get dupes. Okay, go out, come back in. Uh, ah, I forgot. I said I wasn't going to forget it. Uh, give me a second. All right. So the dupe counter goes up. We are now at 25. Okay. We started off at 24 dupes from the last opening. Uh, we just duped Domino. So now we're at 25 dupes. Okay. So let's go ahead and spin that out. And see if we can get anything but a dupe. Uh, now, I, I see, or I thought I saw, Black Widow Deadly Origins in there. Yeah, I did see her in there. Okay. So we could pull a Black Widow Deadly Origins. Um, still would be a dupe, but um, not a, a bad one. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we get. The, the champions that I really want, you can see right on up there. Um, and I need Aegon to do the Abyss. I'm not going into the Abyss without Aegon. So, until we get an Aegon, the Abyss is on hold. Alright, slowing down. Okay, well, he's getting a rework. Uh, but that's another dupe. Still hunting for Aegon. And that is Sig 80, all natural. Now, I can't wait for his rework. I will love that rework. Um, Kabam has a pretty good track record when they uh, rework a champion. And I believe he's getting a rework, not just a 
uh, numbers tweak or anything like that. I believe his kit is getting a full overhaul. But we'll see. All right, so last one. And again, if you didn't see my last crystal opening, it's the one where I went for Professor X uh, 10 times. That crystal opening was worth the 3,000 units. So whatever we're getting out of this one is perfectly okay. Um, but once I get Aegon, I'll be able to progress a little bit further. Um, I can do it without an Aegon, but it'll be much more costly, and I don't want to do that. I try to be as efficient as I can while playing this game because I don't pay to progress. So um, I can't just buy units or anything like that. All right, last one. What do we got? Aegon, you coming around the corner somewhere, bro? Nah. Ooh, sandwiched in between two Ronins. All right. I actually like uh, Nightcrawler. You know, obviously I already have him, but um, I like him. I believe I have all of the champions in here except for those three. Don't quote me on that, but I think so. So it's a great chance for me to do and a very small chance for me to actually get one of those champions that I want. So I'm pretty sure that this outcome is going to repeat uh, and it has repeated for a while. So we're going to keep going. Uh, I'm not in any great rush to do the abyss. Uh, it does not look fun. I don't like long fights. Uh, Aegon is not a champion that I really like, but he is really good. Uh, he is a ramp up champion. And what that means is that he takes uh, a few fights and, you know, a little bit of time in order to get to where he is really good. He starts off not so great and he ends up godlike. OK, I prefer champions that are just good right off the bat or uh, good after a very short period of time. Um, but of the ramp up champions, Aegon is the best one in my opinion. So um, he will save me a lot of units, a lot of resources. And so I need him in order to do it efficiently. Uh, right now we have a couple of people doing the abyss without an Aegon and they are using up their resources. So, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, another try, another fail to get Aegon. Um, but we're still riding high off of our other crystal opening. Bonus footage. Before we finish the video, I went through the Mutant Island side quest. And I got another five-star Awakening Gem. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. Uh, if you guys were there during my live stream you know that I opened up uh, a five star awakening gem and I got a tech I've already used that one on warlock uh, but tech was the one one of the ones that I wanted the only one that I would want now would be cosmic so I could awaken four uh, but I was considering using a generic uh, I don't really need him awakened right now so we'll see can we get a cosmic cosmic come on cosmic Cosmic. Cosmic. No, no. Another tech. Okay. Well, I'm not sure who I will use that on. That was two techs in a row. Interesting. All right. Well, like I said, I already used it on Warlock, and I'll have to think about who I want to use that on. Uh, right now, I have three mutants, this one tech. Um, I have two skill, four mystics. And I also have uh, three generics. So we'll have to find out who I'm going to use that on. And honestly, I may use a generic simply because any other class, I have a gem for them. So that might be a good, uh, a good decision to make. I might do that. Um, there's an item use event on right now. So that might be a good, uh, good thing to do. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. 
let me know what you thought about this video. The hunt for Aegon continues. So take care, and you all have a blessed day.